safety, of course. And as always on a Thursday, Mina Kimes, Marcus Spears, Ryan Clark. We're going to get reports throughout the show as well. Lots Jeez. of news to get to. The wave is there, so that means we can officially start. We're going to get things going with Jeremy Fowler. He is in Baltimore ahead of tonight's game. And Jeremy, what plan look like for the Bengals tonight? Well, Jamar Chase is going to have to go over 100 for them to win. I talked yesterday, Mike Gusecki. To even get close to what they were doing last year. Two things I would also do tonight if I was Cincinnati out of those stacks and bunches. I would quick snap, so get to line. Maybe Jaden Daniels also faces a tough test if you look at it that way. Mina, why has the Steelers' defense been Mm. so stout the first half of the season? Yeah, there's a lot of reasons for this, Laura, on the back end. Y'all know how I am. Last week I talked about the Denver Broncos and that defense. They'll finally be challenged. I think this will be another challenge Mm. for the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially after the Washington Commanders watching what the New York Giants did to them on the Mm. ground for some parts of that game. Hey, if you heard a woman's voice saying party there, it was me. It was not Mina. Okay, I just want to correct the record. <laughs> in case anybody's confused. But party is right, Boogie. Well, party is right. Party is right. right. Rushing the pass is a party. Anyway, I was just at the Chiefs game, so it's fresh in my mind. Commander's run game. Well, they'll defensively put you in a visual nightmare. It, it's a lot for defenses Star to Trump. see. I'd love your perspective on that of, like, how challenging that is for really, like, I would imagine the second level of a defense. Yes. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys remember this. I don't know if you remember Houston. When Houston got into sort of the, the linemen and we called it bull. The visual of that and the gaps it creates, yeah. <laughs> all those defenders were just all bunched up. I love it. All right, coming up next on NFL Live, the Texans' interior offensive line has really struggled in recent weeks. Marcus will expect that Lions secondary to play against this Texans pass game on Sunday night. <laughs> well, hell, if the Texans can't block nobody, I expect them to play really well. <laughs> I mean, when you <laughs> – I think you look at – uh, The Steelers didn't throw over the middle of the field against the Falcons when they have Justin yeah. Simmons and – Yeah, you know, you, you talk about searching matchups. You search them damn guards, and you find mm. them and you exploit them like no everybody doubt. else has been doing. Uh, poorly with what Detroit does well, which is rush yeah. the passer from the inside. The passer – the Lions don't have – that we turn to Ryan Clark. Joe Burrow, Ryan, has only thrown 300 yards twice this season. Over under 274 and a half <laughs> yards in the air for him tonight. So here's the thing. I'm going under, but just barely under. He the has thing. been averaging just over 115 yards per game on the ground. Over under 89 and a half yards rushing for the Ravens running back in this one. You know what? I'm going over here. I know the Baltimore Ravens tonight over under 44 and a half receiving yards for their other tight end, Mark Andrews. I think this is going to put Mark Andrews on matchup against the Cincinnati Bengals. Good point. We've also seen Lamar just pinpoint accuracy as well. All right, with profit boost, give us something specific in this matchup you'll be watching for. Well, shoot, I feel silly not talking about the passing attack after seeing. You've got to do two things. One. Baltimore is going to give you their play action. Their it, areas. It, it's, hmm. You're going to take it, RC? Go on, no. RC. Oh, me. I just said me. Marcus. Me. I was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Charlie Kovar <laughs> is carving us up for like 100 yards. That's the Broncos. Uh, That's the first what the, day I learned about Cincinnati, it. I, I got a solution for you. On this show. So let's go ahead and throw our picks up here. As you can see, everybody on the Ravens, yeah, we have you here. Um, well, wow. Adam, did he email you this? <laughs> he emailed you. How you got the email? Email? But Punch. see, here's the thing. This is Marcus's fault because now people are just taking shots at me on the pod just because Marcus has. Shefty, I'm doing this for John Adams, the, uh, the email guy. Don't put me in this. I, I want to make sure that I like I, I get the twist. Well, Please don't hit. Laura's holding it. Don't hit it hard. <laughs> Shefty, this is, this is for the email. The beauty of saying, Adam, the man, beauty of saying we don't have a broke my nose. I think we all broke know my nose. only McAfee could get away with that. So, Dan, you better not do it. Oh, they gonna fire you. Uh, oh, McAfee just gonna get mad. Don't hit back. Sorry, I'm sorry.